Okay, uh, this morning guys, I just want to do a little quick video regarding uh, axles. So, so your Land Cruiser axles, here's a, a sample of a, of a broken factory axle. This one broke when the diff housing broke. Um, but predominantly, we see a lot of breakages on a factory axle at the back of the flange here because it, that's the weakest part of the material. Otherwise, we see them either through the length like that or at the spline. They're not an overly strong axle, but what we've got to remember too is a lot of guys, you know, we're running bigger tyres, we're running, some of the guys are running two and three times the horsepower of the factory vehicle, uh, running, you know, 600 to a, a kilos to a tonne overweight over what Toyota recommended. So everything has its limitations. The, the limitation on axle material, so there's, there's, there's basically three lots of material I would say as axle building material. So you've got 4340, you've got EN26 and you've got 300M. Obviously 300M being the top of the scale. Now, we've been supplying as a standard a 4340 or an EN26 uh, heat treated axle. Now, when we see guys posting yield strengths of materials, that's materials in their raw state. So if the, if the axle is just made uh, out of a billet piece of material, not heat treated, then that's exactly what you're seeing. But under a, a heat treatment process, all of those posted yields become non-applicable anymore. Because obviously with the heat treatment, the axle strength increases considerably. So all of J-Max axles in 4340 and EN26 go through that heat treatment process. Now, we have seen the very odd breakage of an axle under extreme conditions you know it becomes a limitation becomes that the toyota land cruiser center is 32 spline so without physically changing the land cruiser center and doing a custom rear end this becomes your limiting factor is spline diameter so what we have seen with with some of the uh, a couple of the axles that are broken so we're talking less than one percent and all of those have been in extreme cases you know, guys at 4.2, 4.5 ton, uh, guys with two to three times the horsepower, some of them with three. But what we have seen on a lot of those occasions out of, you know, probably half of those few outbroken axles is they've exploded the diff center at the same time. So when these guys break, there's so much strength in these axles. When they break, they often will take the diff center out with it. So these guys here, um, you know, generally you would prefer to break an axle at its worst case and replace it than to replace your whole rear diff center. So what we have done is we brought out this 300M axle. So 300M is obviously the highest quality axle steel available uh, for this type of process. Again, they're heat treated. Um, this here, is, is it something for everybody? Uh, no, it's not because you're still limited to your 32 spline axle. So when this guy goes, um, you could pretty much guarantee everything's going with it. They, when they explode, they go off like a bomb. So I suppose getting caught up in, um, in you know, oh, this is stronger than that stronger, it becomes a point of what do you want to sacrifice when you push your vehicle beyond, you know, beyond the expectations of what the vehicle can handle. So we are in the process for, we've got a couple of really big horsepower guys. We're in the process of delving into a, a custom rear differential with uh, much bigger splines, much bigger centers, um, but it, you know, it won't be a cheap exercise. And the majority of people, it has no application for at all. At the end of the day, uh, the, the proof has been done on these guys. Um, they're very, very strong. The very few people that break them, they are under those excessive conditions and everything has a breaking point. So, um, but you know, this offering here will be for those couple of horsepower guys who've been hounding me. Um, you know, for something that's bigger and better and harder and, you know, they, they want to push their car beyond the limits. So um, the pricing for the 300M axles will be on our website. Uh, so jump onto jmax.com.au and check us out.